If you haven't seen the K6 helmet test yet, watch that first. This video is an addendum for that specific test. Winners have also been chosen for the previous giveaways, though there will be another giveaway on this video, so stay tuned till the end. After thinking about it a while, I feel like I didn't really test the K6 helmet's titanium visor well enough. The polycarbonate glass broke after only one 9x19mm shot. Seeing as the glass is only rated for Gost 1, that is 9x18mm rounds, I should have figured it wouldn't be able to take the extra energy from the 9x19, as the lighter round hits with almost 150 more pounds of force. But the margins of that helmet's stated protection seemed high after witnessing the helmet stop 57 AP. That margin obviously did not extend to the visor of the K6, and you'll see more on the other visors later as videos are released. Speaking of 5.7 AP, I didn't hit the metal part of the visor with it. Although I mentioned that I didn't think it would penetrate anyway, we also saw that the round seemed to have gone through the titanium layer, only to be stopped by the thin air mid fiber underneath. The visor has no air mid, and the titanium seems a little bit thinner than the helmets. And so those thoughts bothered me for about a week after the test. Luckily, after expressing a desire to retest the visor, a fan informed me that he had another one, and so I traded one of the shot helmets for it. The Makarov shoots the biggest round that most Russian glass visors have been rated for, and that's why the Makarov is on the table among the other weapons. 9x18 and shrapnel are very common ballistic threats in Russia. And so, today we're going to hit the K6's glass with 9x18 and the visor's titanium with 5.7. Starting with 9x18. The glass should stop this round, but by how much remains to be seen. Whoops. A little low. You can actually see the mushroomed round still in the frame, but I didn't notice that when we inspected the visor. Trying again. Nice. If I slow down to frame by frame, you can see the ricochet for a brief moment. And indeed, we found that one. The round tried its hardest, getting decent expansion, but just couldn't break through the glass. There isn't much more than a millimeter of intact glass left behind the impact. Surviving another Makarov shot, even the more intact side, is impossible after this damage. Moving on to 5.7 SS190. The high velocity round, to my surprise, went through the titanium section of the visor, creating a veritable light show of sparks as it passed through. I was really bothered by a lot of the comments suggesting the apparent weakness of the 5.7 SS190 round. I hope that this test has allowed for a better idea as to its effectiveness against armor. It seems like that thin air mid layer was crucial in order to stop the round. Obviously from the results, and surprisingly, the steel mask is better able to shrug off 5.7 rounds to the helmet or the visor than the K6, even though the mask is just ballistic steel and not titanium alloy. And no, the shot I placed was a zip code away from the 9x18 impact. It played no part in the visor being defeated. So why is the steel helmet beating the titanium helmet? Well, the mask was produced by Classcom and the K6 was produced by Nistali. Nistali probably kept producing the K6 because it was easy to continue using Soviet tooling and methods from the production of Altens rather than produce a new design like the mask was. Basically, the Russian steel in the mask is at a high enough grade to be stronger than whatever old Soviet titanium alloy recipe is being used in the K6. Even though it's slightly weaker than its competitor, the K6 still meets GOS2 requirements. The fact that it's made of titanium makes a good selling point for that examination. Combine that with the fame of the original Alton, and you have a legacy helmet continuously produced into 2012, far beyond its point of obsolescence. The Masca, on the other hand, was replaced by the ZSH-12 at the turn of the century, and man, I cannot wait to show you how well that helmet worked. Speaking of working well, a quick word about my clothing. I'm wearing a Voin Atax FG set and a Tarkov Bear hoodie from my sponsors Grey Shop and the Escape from Tarkov merchandise store. That hoodie gets especially warm compared to a lot of my other clothes, and I would highly recommend it for the winter. That's all for now. If you'd like to be entered in a chance to win this visor, simply leave a comment below and you can have my garbage. Just mind the glass.